Hey YouTube, it's me, Lance of Destiny SFX. I'm back with another photo shoot behind the scenes video. And this one's going to be a tiny bit longer. Because I've actually found a whole bunch of ways to arrange all the different lighting in here. You get so many different moods. There's really only one orange light and two blue. I tried turning that flashlight into a red light, but the covering wasn't working. And it kept on looking blue in the pictures. Sorry, just adjusting the little bit of plastic I have in front of the eyes. Since I have this thing stuffed up with cotton balls, it'd be weird if in pictures there was like a little bit of white. And as you can still kind of see, there is a little bit of white. Can it focus? Yes, I can. This is on a phone camera. All my photos are. I tried to work with what I got. It only focuses if there's enough light, as with any camera, really. Which is frustrating for trying to take Michael Myers photos, but it works every other time. Yeah, I actually had to dig around and find this lantern again because I was going through photo references and one of them had a backlight to the hair. It was like the parking lot scene in Halloween 2. Oh, I forgot to mention by now. This is a concept mask. Uh, the paint isn't actually this yellow in the movie, and nor is there any scars like this in the movie. I just decided to take the end scene mask a little bit further to where how it would look like if it were pulled right off of Michael after the fire. Now, because of how detailed I went into the H2 paint, I didn't want to blacken it all out and kind of ruin the paint. So I decided to just make it smoke stained and blood galore because the two tiny bitty blood tears just doesn't do it for me and a lot of people. I even continued the tears a little bit down but I mostly scratched it off since it would have been exposed to heat the blood would have dried a little bit and maybe cracked off. So I tried to do that little effect with the blood that I applied. The yellow well, orange light doesn't do a whole bunch when it comes to overall lightning lighting. It's just adding a little bit of more light overall. The rest of the yellow light is coming in through that window. And these are my H2 coveralls, and you can't quite see them. A little bit better. Yeah. I've only just started on them. It should be done by Halloween. I didn't realize how dark my video mode is. <laughs> Flashing a little bit. Oh, reflexes for real. All right, now to change it up a little bit. Like I said, now already there is a little bit of a difference. It's more cinematic, like a. If I lower this, it will show better on camera. The warm lighting on this side and the cold lighting on this side 
brings a shadow to the middle and kind of makes him more inhuman. Which is really cool. And that's just one. You could also... I've also... Excuse me. I've also angled it a little bit. Just trying to do as many different things as possible since this is such a difficult setup because that flashlight wanted to keep on falling down and so did that. I had to get my, uh, one of my boots, stick a uh, mouthwash thing in the boot to balance that just enough so that it shines behind the hair. And it doesn't even catch all the wispies that I wanted it to. And the only other lighting setup that I remember is this one. And I did, it's a really dark one, but it reminds me of that one scene where he kills the nurse that's distracted by the doctor's body. Now, that scene is in a lot more warm tones, but it's, it's photography. You can do whatever you want with it. Oh, I have, have I done this one yet? Oh, I love, I love the dark and the lights of this angle. I'm going to take a couple of photos. 